it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to colour this gorgeous little digital page that I downloaded from Etsy. I'll put the link to it below the video. It's super cute and I was hoping to have this done for Easter but it's still part of my birthday bunny colouring along uh, even though I'm running late <laughs> so my Easter picture is being done uh, it's actually Tuesday in Australia I'm actually using my Marco refine pencils today and I'm using Nina cardstock I printed the page on that I haven't used these Marco refines for oh, a long long time these were my first fancy pants pencils were the Lyra Rembrandts and I remember when I bought the 36 set of those I was just stunned by what I perceived as very expensive because they were you know way more than what I pay at the supermarket <laughs> um, and then uh, these were my second set of pencils, the Marco Refines, and at the time everyone was saying how nice they were and all the rest of it, and I ordered them uh, from, I think it was China back then, and I was that excited to get them, and when I got them, I really didn't like them that much at all and uh, I found them very crumbly and yeah so I, although I bought them to review for everyone I, I didn't like them so I never did the actual review and so I'm hoping as you know time progresses sometimes things don't work on particular colouring books oh sorry um, some people have asked me what pencils uh, I'm using so I don't know that everyone would have these, but in any event, it's number 558. And this one is number 557. Um, so, yeah, I don't know whether it was just the pages that I tested them on or whether it was uh, because I didn't know any blending or whatnot back then or... Uh, it, whatever I, I'm not sure but anyway I really didn't like them so they've been tucked away in a bag and I haven't used them and I thought use them and see and if not they can go and uh, go on eBay or something like that because mama needs to buy a new coloring book so yeah, give them a try out on a few different things and just see sorry uh, this one's five five six just see if um, it was just my mood or the particular books or or whatnot and give them another chance and if not I'll just uh, de-stash them which I'm going to do because I have very little room here and I find that I also have my favorites so things that I just use constantly so I'd rather, you know, be able to buy spares of those than have things that I'm not going to use. So I'm actually enjoying using them today. Wouldn't that be right? Because, um, you know, I've given them the <laughs> shape up or ship out. And now I'm finding that they're actually enjoyable. But it might also be the paper. This, um, this paper's quite... It's got a bit of a tooth on it so you can blend but not so much that you're sitting there for five hours trying to get rid of the tooth and getting RSI in the uh, in the process so it's not bad paper which I'm glad I'm doing a very big uh, video on testing all the paper with uh, the different mediums and it's a huge event to uh, to film all of that for me and some of you might find it easy but not this little bunny speaking of bunnies 
did you have a nice Easter? And I know I just brushed that because I'm so used to my Prismacolors producing blue and brushing them that I just do it by reflex, whereas these don't produce bloom and they're actually really blending well, wouldn't you know it? You give a pencil the um, the idea that it's going to leave and then you actually start enjoying using it. Ah, annoying. Um, that one was 20, or oh, I think it's five. 520 I think the one of the numbers is rubbed off a bit but uh, so we'll see how that one goes I'm blending them out later or maybe we'll blend him out now I don't know but anyway I hope you had an enjoyable Easter it's a strange year isn't it strange year for memorable something there to to look back on hopefully and uh, go well, that was the year that was totally cray cray. I hope you're all doing well and everyone is healthy and happy and getting through these times. It was my birthday on uh, Easter Saturday and uh, normally we would go out and uh, go to breakfast somewhere. This year David had said that it, we were going to go to Movie World which of course that was all cancelled so um, it was a pretty uneventful day to be honest uh, I just uh, basically stayed home and uh, I made a cake I made some pasta for dinner and uh, made carrot cake of course because you know bunnies love carrots and uh, and that was pretty well it. Uh, nothing really exciting. Uh, you know, I I'd asked David for a um, a book, a coloring book, of course, which I really wanted. But uh, he, of course, uh, decided that it would be much better if he surprised me and chose something for himself, uh, chose something, you know, himself without me saying what I wanted. And so I didn't get the colouring book. <laughs> I got uh, some bunny rabbit cushions and I got some bunny rabbit uh, little jars and stuff like that. That's pretty well it. It was a pretty well quiet day. Spent some time in the garden planting things. I've just had the next door neighbour come over to the fence. She'd uh, made a mistake with her seeds and she planted too many out. So she came over and gave me a, a little paper bag full of um, lettuce seeds. So, and then uh, She gave me all her uh, wisdom on uh, what you can do to beat the virus. Apparently it's tonic water and zinc. So I think these, you know, all different theories are going everywhere and whatnot. And to be honest, I, I try not to listen because uh, too many people think that <clears throat> they're giving out great advice because they heard it from a doctor or something like that. But Unless it's a genuine uh, medical profession or, you know, someone I trust or whatnot, just not going to uh, buy into that one. A lot of people, you know, might be misled by misinformation and whatnot. But anyway, each to their own, whatever works, you know. So I'm going to plant those little lettuce uh, seedlings after I finish doing this. And this morning I've uh, been doing a lot of housework and whatnot. Seems to be never ending. I can't believe that every day you've got to do the same stuff. Wash up, do the laundry. It's always the same. I think it's a good day when I don't have to do laundry. I don't mind doing laundry. It's just that we have a two-storey house where all the living space is on the 
the first story and things like the garage and the laundry are all downstairs so I've got to lug the washing basket up and down the stairs so that's a bit I don't like I don't find it overly hard to sort the clothes and chuck them in the washing machine it does all the hard work <laughs> actually I'm preferring these pencils more now oh, they've saved themselves they've saved themselves damn Oh well, I'll find something else to de-stash. I'm trying to clear up the room here because I feel like I've got no space. And especially because it was Millie's little anniversary of being here for a year on a Good Friday. And so we bought her a few different things. I posted on Facebook. Oh, what have I done there? I posted on Facebook the cardboard box that we bought her. It's in the shape of an ice cream truck. And she got in it and she played in it for five seconds while I took the photo. And then she hasn't been in it since. So I don't know whether to put that up on the desk and replace her cubby house with the ice cream truck or not. But she absolutely loves the cubby house. Uh, she always plays in that and she always sits in it of an afternoon so I don't know if I should take that away from her. What else did she get? She got some toys uh, and I also got Charlie toys as well because my little dog because we always do it if one of them has an, a, a birthday we give the other one something as well so that they don't get jealous. And hey, you can tell we don't have kids, can't you? Because, you know, the fur babies are everything. And uh, so he got toys as well. He got a, a, like a little duck type thing. And she got uh, a packet of two little toys. And um, Charlie decided that he would want one of those. But she did actually play with those for a little bit. And if you're new to my channel, Millie is a Himalayan, which is a cross between a Siamese and a Persian. And Charlie is a Shih Tzu Maltese. And apparently Himalayans are very, very lazy. Um, they're very inactive and you basically have to force them to play. And Millie actually fits that stereotypical general description perfectly because she'll play with her toy for like three seconds and then it's time for a nap. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, she's really perfect for that uh, description, whoever decided that that's what made Himalayans distinctive. Because she, she always, even when she tries to escape, she gets tired halfway down the stairs and, you know, just has a sit. <laughs> but, uh, so... She got those, and uh, what else did she get? She got the toys, she got the cardboard box. And then I asked uh, you lovely guys if you could help me with her wanting to escape and me wanting her to be supervised and worrying about her. And uh, so most of you uh, had some great suggestions, and thank you so much for that. Uh, now, one suggestion was getting her a big lead, a long lead. So that's what I did. I bought her one of those, it's a dog lead, but it's retractable and it's got like a three meter length and she has been using it. And the other thing I got her was a little harness and there was a choice of colors, blue and pink, and they've got like little wings on them. But because I ordered it online, they just give you anything. So she ended up with the blue one, which is okay because it goes with her beautiful blue eyes. I would have preferred the pink one, but anyway. But it does go with her beautiful blue eyes. And so she got that and the lead, as well as the toys and the cardboard box. So she had a nice little birthday or anniversary because we don't really know when her birthday is. So she had a nice little time and then she spent the afternoon lolling on the couch. So what more could you possibly want? 
So yeah, I am liking these now. I think I will need to use my blender though, just to get a bit of uh, this blended out. And as far as Easter goes, uh, I had ordered some eggs online, but uh, I only got one packet of the eggs because they uh, they ran out. Um, apparently there'd been a big rush on sweets, etc., at the stores. And when it came to fulfilling my order, they it didn't have enough, so look the one packet of eggs was fine anyway we've still got they're only those little tiny ones and we've still got about four or five left anyway so that worked out okay and david bought me one of those daryl lee nougat eggs well, that's a bit nostalgic for me my grandfather used to always buy me one and uh, so yeah, he bought that and I haven't even opened it because I was kind of full from the carrot cake and <laughs> from the other little eggs. So there's that to look forward to. So I've decided probably like a lot of people that have overindulged over the break that it's time for a diet. So been on the treadmill this morning and what I do is I pop the TV on this morning I watch the news but sometimes I watch other things and I've just noticed that I can watch YouTube on the big screen as well which I didn't realize our TV did that we had another TV that we broke when we were moving that did that but I didn't realize this replacement one did it so I know pop that on and I watch some YouTube today I watch the news and what was happening in the world while I was on the treadmill and then tonight when it's cooler I'll take uh, Charlie for a little walk and uh, have two lots of exercise in the one day plus watch what I'm eating and uh, hopefully be able to shift a few kilos So where are we at? We've got the table and the stool. Not sure what to do with the bunny colouring and the floor. Like, no, I think it's like a little bunny cave or a, um, I don't know. Anyway, we've got these browns out, so we'll use those. So this afternoon, I'm going to uh, plant those seeds at the nut seedlings that the neighbour brought over and then uh, plant some more seeds in my garden. I'm also going to order some flowers seeds online. They're called Lizzie Anthers and they take like six months to flower. There should be a law against some of these flowers taking so long I think. I want to look at them now but I'd bought some of those and I had them in the garden and uh, they're really beautiful they're like a rose without the like a rose that's a flower that looks has a stem and no thorns and not a bush or anything like that but they have the look of a rose um, without actually being a rose they don't have a scent though but they are really beautiful and they seem to grow really well here. So I thought if something grows well, I'll uh, get more of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then tonight I'm going to look into doing some online courses just to uh, keep me amused. I had been waiting for the uh, colleges in this state to provide some sort of free courses because where I used to live in the state and the college that I worked at for 15 years, wouldn't you know it, um, they're giving away like 21 courses that you can do for free. <clears throat> and several of the courses that they're giving away, funnily enough, are the ones that I used to teach, which is hilarious. But anyway, 
I was hoping that this state would also do something similar, not just for school leavers, which they are doing, but for, you know, people like me that haven't got a job and, uh, you know, can learn some different skills or whatnot. So as yet, nothing has come up that they're giving away any. So I thought, I'll just do some online courses through like LinkedIn Learning or Coursera or something like that and uh, just to keep my mind amused. So I thought I'd do some like Excel and uh, Word and things like that. Now I do know how to use Excel and Word etc but I'm as far as computers go even though I've written books on computers and worked with computers for years and spoken at conferences and all the rest of it, I'm completely self-taught so I don't have a bit of paper that, uh, you know, tells me that I know how to do certain things. I just know how to do them because I've figured it out myself. So I thought, well, there's probably things that I don't know because I've never needed to know them. They've never been important for anything that I'm doing. So there's probably things that I could learn and then I could just at least say that, uh, you know, I've done the course and I know how to do these, uh, you know, different things that might be important for some jobs or it might not be, but at least it'll be something to amuse myself with. So I'll do that and see what happens if when I finish that, see if there's something else that takes my fancy that's not expensive and whatnot. And the other thing I wanted to learn was um, learn more about shares and share trading and things like that that's always interested me so i thought that might be something uh interesting to learn about and study up on i don't know if it'd be good for getting a job i doubt that but it'd be just interesting to learn different things so I was very worried, you know, that I was losing my memory uh, months ago and trying to do things that are different from what I normally do just to stimulate uh, my memory and uh, help improve it. So we'll see how this goes. I hope I find something that uh, piques my interest too. I find that the hardest part because I could sit there and look at course descriptions for hours before I actually choose one. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I'll find something. And so I've got to order the flower seeds and uh, work out the course and plant some seeds. I've still got to vacuum and mop the floor. I bleached all the bathroom this morning and I think I must have put too much bleach or didn't dilute it enough. I did have the windows open but um, I feel like everything I taste now is bleach. I can smell it all over so I must have uh, not diluted it enough. The smell is terrible. It's right up my nose. So yesterday I had to um, try out that new thing that they're doing with the doctor's appointments where you uh, do a video call or a phone call. I needed to find a doctor up here in uh, Brisbane. Since we've moved here I actually haven't been to the doctor at all and it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago I realised uh, that my Medicare card in, was out of date. So if I did want to go to the doctor, the the details uh, might not be accepted because uh, my card had expired. So I got a new card which took a couple of weeks to come in. 
I think we'll add a bit of orange to that. <clears throat> and it looked like, uh, although we changed our address uh, when we moved, it looks like it didn't process for Medicare. So I got a new card and luckily I got that because then I got a, uh, I've been absent for a few days off YouTube. I haven't done what I was hoping to do because I've been battling a uh, really bad sinus infection and uh, it was getting really difficult for me to uh, breathe through my nose over the weekend and uh, I just tried all the uh, you know the usual remedies for sinus and uh, I braved going out and went to the pharmacy and uh, they said look if you've tried all of that you probably need antibiotics and you'll have to you know see a doctor and because I haven't been to the doctor up here, all of the local doctors aren't accepting new patients. So then I had to uh, go online and find a doctor which uh, would see me online for a video appointment uh, because I couldn't be seen locally because they wouldn't take on any new patients at all because I guess they're just so overwhelmed with their existing patient base. But it's kind of disappointing when you haven't been sick and, you know, and you can't even go to the doctor. So you can't even get normal things done, like, you know, normal tests, etc., that you have quite regularly. So, but they've got to put in systems to help them get through everything that they're doing so i can't complain and anyway i was able to sort it out within five or ten minutes on the online thing anyway so it's no big deal other people probably need it a lot more than i did so then i had to go up to the um, chemist again and get some uh, antibiotics which you know they're funny, every doctor I've ever had always, even these online ones, they always want to prescribe me penicillin and I'm one of those people that's allergic to penicillin and any derivative on it, anything. You know, call the ambulance right now if um, I have anything with even a bit of penicillin in it. And... Um, but they still always want to try me out, you know, like I'm some sort of experiment. And this one, again, wanted to do that, but I was very forceful and said, no, I know, you know, what happens even if I have a derivative and I'm not prepared to, <laughs> to go through that, thanks very much, Lee. So I finally got a... Uh, a script that didn't include any penicillin in it, which is good. And because years ago I had a doctor that totally disregarded my chart and prescribed me a product with penicillin in it, and uh, I had a huge reaction on the floor, you know, just really terrible. The the chemist told me I should have just called an ambulance straight away but it was a bit hard because I could barely breathe and all the rest of it so I always check now I double check with the chemist that the product uh, that, that I've been prescribed doesn't have any penicillin in it and a couple of times I've had to go back despite my chart and despite me saying that I'm allergic I've had to go back sometimes and get the uh the script change because sometimes they still just give me a derivative. Uh, look, I can understand that people, you know, might want to, you know, experiment and think that sometimes, like these pencils, you know, over time, maybe you don't get a reaction anymore. Maybe it was just something, you know, that goes away. 
I've heard that some allergies do go away. I don't know. But I certainly don't want to risk trying that out now. And uh, the last time that I'd had penicillin was only a few years ago, so I doubt that anything would have changed in that time. You know, that it would now be the wonder drug for me. Are any of you guys allergic to penicillin as well? I know everyone says it's meant to be the wonder drug, but a lot of people seem to be like me and allergic to it that I've come across in my life. David's allergic to something, but the awful part is he doesn't know exactly what it is because it was something that he was given when he lived in Denmark and he didn't really take notice of what the English translation of this uh, pharmaceutical was and of course now he rarely ever takes, I know it's some sort of headache tablet like you know codeine or ibuprofen but and luckily he rarely gets headaches but and he rarely takes any sort of tablet at all uh, but when he does I just have to watch him like a hawk because I don't know what the product is that he's allergic to <laughs> he is allergic to fiberglass which uh, years ago his work wanted him to work with fiberglass doing this uh, particular type of uh, construction work and he had to turn that down because he is he just breaks out and gets all sorts of problems with it it's funny how allergies work when I was teaching we used to always have a an EpiPen in the room because we had some students that had severe allergies. We had one girl that uh, she was so allergic to peanuts that even if um, people had eaten in the room like hours and hours before it still affected her so we had to ban anyone eating anything uh, in the room ever that she was using uh, because of her severe allergy and we all had uh, you know training in how to use the epipen uh, in the event that she needed that you know because sometimes students you know they bring their bags in and even their lunch in a bag if it was loosely wrapped she could smell it and it would affect her so she was really severely affected the poor girl I don't know if you guys know uh, what the name of that is called with the peanuts I can't remember uh, I'm severely allergic to seafood as well so I was at a conference years ago and I was speaking to somebody and I had one of those little itty bitty mini quiches and I'm allergic to any sort of fish or seafood etc. I don't know what it is that sets me off. I should go get one of those full allergy testy things done one day. Anyway, um, I was just having one of these little tiny, it was tiny little little mini quiches and then I couldn't breathe and oh, it was all awful it was a turned out to be a little salmon quiche but because it was so tiny uh, you didn't know what it was and there was no label saying this is what it is type thing so after that whenever I go to a conference now I just don't eat any of the food <laughs> because it was just awful being sitting there talking to somebody and then all of a sudden you can't breathe and it was terrible. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. <laughs> but I mean, there's people that have got far more severe allergies than what I've got. Luckily, I'm very aware and uh, 
or just avoid anything. I don't even know how we got on this subject, to be honest. I've forgotten. I was trying to put some little lines in here to indicate that it's like a little pine dresser. If I was clever, I'd be able to uh, do like little knots in the wood and everything, but I'm not going to risk that just, just for this little bunny pig. So I hope everyone had a lovely, lovely break over Easter. I know if you're in lockdown, it's not really a break. And if you're a part of the essential services, you must be exhausted and definitely needing a break. And I just really hope that, uh, you know, at some stage in the near future that all the people that have been working and especially those uh, in the front line that must be so stressed and worried and coping with so many things. Uh, I hope they all get an opportunity to have a really good break and really refresh and relax and and uh, you know mentally looking after themselves as well. So, such a difficult time. So, if you are in lockdown, I presume that you've been pretty okay because you've got lots of hobbies to amuse yourself. I think it'd be very hard homeschooling kids, etc., if you were working as well especially uh, if you haven't done homeschooling before. I think that'd be really hard. I know my next door neighbours, they're working from home and uh, they're doing some schooling with the kids, but it seems like it goes, it's okay for them. I haven't heard any yelling, so I'm guessing it must be going pretty good. A lot of the uh, kids around here are doing nice little drawings and stuff on the footpath to cheer people up, so I think that is just adorable. And it's, it's super nice. I'm hoping that more people uh, put their teddy bears, etc. out. I tried to find one to put out and uh, I really cannot find one. But luckily Millie keeps um, sitting in the window so I can just pretend she's a stuffed toy. She sits so still sometimes. I will have to blend this out with a, a blender, I think. And to give it a little bit more of a, a banged up look, this dresser, but we'll see how we go. So I've seen that many bunny pictures over the last uh, few weeks. All the fabulous artists are giving out so many. It's unbelievable. We're getting so spoiled by our lovely little artists. I've seen that many pictures I want to colour. I just need more time. I don't seem to ever get through my to-do list. Uh, I think writing it out seems to take me <laughs> forever and a day sometimes too. Gee, I might put some orange on that one. I will run this over with a blender so it doesn't look so scratchy if you're thinking it looks a bit rough. And uh, I've got my new uh, camera tripod -y thing and I'm still not sure on the setup of it at the moment. I can't quite get the uh, camera to twist around where I want it so that I can actually reach it and colour in and also uh, actually pick up the whole page that I'm colouring. So I need to experiment more. So, you know, my apologies, my, oh dear, I can't do words. My apologies if it's not good enough for you or you're not enjoying uh, looking at it, but I know most people are probably not looking at it. Uh, sorry, 
this is orange 506 I keep forgetting to do these pencils I'm sorry it's just uh, new to me to read out the pencils but I will do it because a few people asked me to and uh, I will I will do it but I, I don't do tutorials or anything like that because I'm just a beginner and I just pick up basically what I think will look okay um, and there is obviously lots of things that don't work out <laughs> but um, yeah so just bear with me while I get used to this new camera setup and uh, I know it probably won't affect most of you for colour in chats because I know that you're probably doing something else like like me I'm usually cleaning <laughs> and I pop on the video so I can listen to uh, people chatting and talking about their lives and whatnot and usually I'm just uh, cleaning and then I'll go to the next video and I'll hear all sorts of things and sometimes I want to leave a comment etc but I'm like five videos down and I don't know which one it was uh, because it goes on the auto repeat or auto moving uh, thing so and I imagine that lots of other people are, you know, colouring or diamond painting or something and they're not really watching what I'm doing here. So I can quite freely make as many mistakes as I want and no one's going to notice. <laughs> uh, but hopefully the camera, I'll work it out eventually. It's just a bit... Whenever you get something new, it's um, a little bit different and it's always a bit of a learning curve. This one's completely different to my other one because um, I've got a new phone to start with, a new iPhone. My other iPhone had a cracked screen and it was like five versions ago and so old and didn't have enough memory in it. and. The cracked screen really did it for me because I couldn't even see what I was doing. <laughs> and then it stopped working when we moved here, so you couldn't hear it ring or anything. So I'm super glad that I finally got that f new phone, which um, I've been looking at for ages. And then the tripod, uh, it broke like six months ago. And because I knew I needed a new phone, I put off getting another tripod until I decided on the phone. And so now I've got the tripod, the phone, and the light that I use is actually, or used to use, was actually too high. Uh, because it's on a stand and you couldn't adjust the stand without the light hitting you on the head type thing. Uh, I had to get rid of it so the tripod I've got now is a newer tripod and it's like a big circle thing and there's space for the phone in the middle of the circle thing uh, with lights all around it so the other light kept hitting the fan and uh, it'd go clunk and uh, yeah, broke a few light bulbs in it too. <laughs> And the light bulbs for it were really expensive, like $20 each. So, I mean, it's still a good uh, light, but it's just too big for this small room. It was uh, good in our other house, but this smaller room, it uh, is not good at all. So, where will we go with this? Is there any more timber to do? Oh, there's one more shelf to this timber shelf so I don't know if you guys have still got shortages where you're living I'd you know always love to know how your life is and what you're doing I'm still short on flour I've been dying to make uh, pea and ham soup with fresh homemade bread but because I cannot get hold of any flour for love or money I have to keep putting off making the bread which is so annoying because I really want to 
try out my bread maker which I bought before everything in the world went haywire and I got it for a good deal off Facebook marketplace and I thought it would be good to make your own bread etc and then the world went crazy and uh, I hadn't got any flour I didn't realize that people would be buying up so much flour that and I've been waiting weeks for it to be restocked. I ordered some online and my delivery didn't include the flour. He just included other items because they got sold out. So I'm not having any wins as far as flour goes at all. But I'm really busting to, to try out this um, bread maker. I really want to... Um, try it and see what it's like see if you need to make adjustments etc so i hope david will be able to uh find some some time he's the one that does the shopping i don't basically leave the compound unless like yesterday i had to uh, go to the chemist And mind you, I disinfect everything inside when I go to the chemist and whatnot. <clears throat> or if I do go out. So with all these beautiful free pages that all the artists are giving away, I've got so many things now that I want to colour in. And I've still got all these whips to finish. But I guess there's no uh, time limit on uh, when I can colour them in, so that's good. But I'm getting quite a collection of uh, freebies that the artists are giving away. Joanna Basford did the cutest little uh, bunny rabbit the other day. And she's been doing videos with her daughter and her daughter draws little things. God, she's adorable. So cute. The apple didn't fall far from the tree uh, there. She's such a little cutie pie. And she's such a good little drawer too. But of course, you know, that's to be expected. She's probably seen mummy doing it all her life. But uh, she is adorable. So yeah, Joanna had some Easter drawings and she had this gorgeous little bunny rabbit. So of course I've downloaded that. And it's not actually an Easter bunny, like there's no eggs or anything like on this one. So you can colour it at any time. And she's got a ton of uh, free downloads on her website, which is very generous of her. I like sometimes just to download her pictures and uh, practice on them before I open the book up. And even if you have done one from the book, then you can always uh, redo it if you want to have a second go at it. So I think I might leave it there for the moment. And then we'll come back not sure what colour to do the bunnies but I'm thinking I'll do like a cream beigey peachy wool I think and um, I wanted to do a colourful rug I'm not sure about that but we'll see come back and we'll see how we get on hey I'm back I just wanted to show you that I finished the bunny picture so it is not a whip, it's actually done. And now I'm going to get back to all of those whips that I've been working on. So that's it from me. Until next time, happy colouring.